In this tutorial video, we will explore the clock camera feature of SweetCG Multisport Scoreboard. One of the biggest challenges in operating a scorebug is keeping the game clocks synchronized with the arena scoreboard. One method of automating the scorebug primary game clock, as well as the secondary play or shot clock, is with the clock camera feature. Clock cameras are a quick, easy, and relatively inexpensive way to bring the live clock into your scorebug although it does lack the elegance of a pure digital text clock. SweetCG Multisport Scoreboard will allow for multiple clock feeds in the event that you need to use two cameras to get both the game clock and the secondary clock, but both clocks can be captured with a single camera as well. The clock feeds must be brought into SweetCG Multisport Scoreboard as an NDI feed. This feature is only available to use with the built-in character generator. To convert your camera signal into NDI, here's what you'll need. A camera or cameras pointed at the scoreboard or clock displays. It is best to get as much of a straight-on shot of the clocks as possible. From there, you can either ingest the camera feed into the SweetCG computer or another computer using a capture card or USB capture dongle. Then, using the free New Tech Connect program, convert the incoming video signal into NDI. Alternatively, you can ingest the camera signal into certain production systems, such as a TriCaster, vMix, Livestream Studio, etc., and convert the isolated camera feed into an NDI feed. Check with your production system's documentation to verify system capabilities and or licensing requirements. A third option would be to use a camera with NDI output built in, such as a PTZ camera from NewTek or PTZ Optics. Let's get started. Let's display the score bug in the graphics controls. We can see the digital clock in the bug. Now let's click the Clock Cameras tab. You will see some basic instructions for setting up a clock camera, as well as tabs for different types of clocks. From the Game Clock tab, let's expand this combo box. We will see all of the NDI sources available on the network. For this tutorial, I am playing back pre-recorded footage of a basketball scoreboard out of a TriCaster. I'm going to select Mix 2. Now we see that NDI feed appear in the monitor. There are no controls to adjust the image perspective, so it's best to get as straight on of a shot of the clocks as possible. Neither are there any ProCamp controls. In addition to the free NewTek Connect program, NewTek Connect Pro is a for-purchase program that will allow modification of the camera image before passing it on as an NDI feed. You may notice flickering on the NDI monitor. This is normal part of the operation, and flickering will not occur on the Scorebug NDI receivers. In brightly lit venues, it may be prudent to iris the camera to make it darker. But be advised, if you are outputting SweetCG in a way that requires a Luma key, you may inadvertently cause the production switcher to key out the very dark regions of the camera feed. In this recording, the camera was set up directly across the court from the primary scoreboard and framed so that the entire scoreboard and backboard clock display was visible. It was also set at a high iris value to improve contrast. If you cannot set up in this ideal configuration, there are some basic rotation controls to help compensate for the angle. More important than finding a good camera angle is finding a place away from foot traffic where someone might bump the camera or stand in front of it. Next, we can use these sliders to create a frame around the clock that we want to use. Use the sliders to make drastic changes and the buttons to fine tune. To trigger SweetCG to replace the clock with the camera feed, click Activate Clock Camera. Now if you look in your production software, you will see the clock is visible, but stretched. We can use the border controls to fine tune the stretching. 
and the color picker to match the background of the clock display. Before we fine tune that too much, let's set up the shot clock. This basketball graphics package includes the shot clock inside the same graphic element as the game clock. Other graphics packages may place the second clock elsewhere if that sport even calls for one. But in this case, we need to set up the shot clock prior to modifying the border. Now that the shot clock is activated, we can see both clocks are visible in the score bug. The look may not be perfect, so we can use both border controls to fine tune how the two clocks look together. In some cases, your border color may be a very different color, such as white, to give a defining boundary between the two clocks. Now let's go to the graphics controls and hide the score bug. Since the clock feeds are part of the graphic, they animate out with the score bug. Furthermore, the game clock more than likely appears in other graphics as well, mainly lower third and halftime final graphics. Don't forget that you can right click the graphic control button and hide the clock if you don't want it there at all. Although the clock camera feature lacks the pure digital look, it is proven as a simple, safe, and reliable method of getting accurate clocks into not only the score bug, but other graphics as well.